this video, I'm going to show you how to level up your t-shirt game and create a model and a mock-up using Midjourney and Canva. So I'm going to assume that you already have an account on Canva and Midjourney in Discord. So the first thing you're going to want to do is log into Discord. And if you don't have a server of your own, I highly suggest creating your own server. And I'm not going to go over that in this tutorial, but it's pretty easy to do. You just have to be very specific with mid journey here. So I'm going to use the imagine prompt with, which is backslash and you type imagine, and then you click this imagine prompt down at the bottom of the screen. So what we want to tell mid journey to do is create a model. I'm going to say an average looking woman in a, crew neck black t-shirt in a vineyard. So you want to think about the mock-up, what she's going to be wearing or he's going to be wearing. Are they going to be wearing a t-shirt, a tank top? What color is it going to be? Is it going to be plain? You need to add that into because mid journey sometimes will just put a logo in there for you by accident. So create an average looking woman, an average looking medium build woman, in a crew neck black, I'm gonna put plain, in a plain crew neck black t-shirt standing in a vineyard. And let's see what Midjourney comes up with for this. And sometimes you're not gonna get the outputs that you want. Like you can see these t-shirts here. Those are too wrinkly for me to put a logo on top of it in Canva. So I would want that material to be smoother. So if you get an output like that, you can say, make me a flat lay mock-up of a black t-shirt that's not very wrinkly. So let's see what outputs we get here. They're looking pretty good. And the cool thing about Discord is you can go ahead and do another prompt while that one is rendering. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in imagine prompt here, make a happy woman in a black crew neck t-shirt in a kitchen holding a glass of wine. Okay, so let's look at these ladies here. They all look pretty good. One thing to consider is the long hair on this woman could get in the way of the design, but I can airbrush that out pretty well in Canva. It's not perfect, but it works okay. So let's go ahead and look at the other ones here and see what it comes up with. You can also specify ethnicity, size, background of the person, gender, their facial expressions, you can say they're happy, they're sad, they're snarky, they look all different kinds of ways. Oh, and this one here, I forgot to, I forgot to, sorry about that. I forgot to specify a plain black t-shirt. So in this one, it gave me uh, four different models and they all have a logo on their t-shirt. So I could airbrush that out in Canva too. So I'll do a little airbrushing in there it's better if there's not a logo on there or jewelry on there because sometimes you'll have to airbrush the jewelry out too. But I've airbrushed hair out with pretty good success. So I'm gonna use this model, or let's see, what model do I wanna use? I wanna use this model here so I can show you how to airbrush the hair out. So what we're gonna do, that's the second picture over. So we're gonna to go to U1, U2, so you count one, two, three, four. So we're gonna use this U version and that will give us an upscale of that. If you want variations of this model here, you can do the V4 and that will give us four more variations of that specific picture. And you remember it's one, two, three, four. And let's go ahead and make variations of this model here just for fun. Let's go ahead and make variations of, or let's do variations of this one because she doesn't have a logo on her shirt. And then you just click submit. Oh, and I wish I would have made her happy, happy in that one. I like these models because they're a little happier. They look like they're having fun. These guys, these women here look so serious. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize the screen a little bit and get Canva started. But let's go ahead and see what these girls look like. Okay, I like these because they look happier than these other women here in these pictures. I like the backgrounds in these. Okay, I'm gonna use her because she has a really small logo on hers and she has a glass of wine there. So I'm gonna go ahead and upscale 
image four and that four picture grid. And then to save it, you'll click on that, right click and save image as. I'm gonna put smiling bartender and go ahead and copy and paste that because I always have trouble finding my downloads in my computer. So the next thing we're gonna do is open up Canva and go to create new design. And I'm just gonna use an Instagram post because it's square and it renders pretty quick. And then you can either drag and drop your file into Canva or you can go to the left side where it has the cloud and the arrow and click upload and then upload files. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for the smiling bartender picture and web images upload pretty well into here, I think. Oh, that didn't open for some reason. Let's try that again. Smiling bartender. Oh, there she is. Then you click on the image of your model and you can drag these corners to fill up the whole space. Now I want to get rid of, of this logo here. So I'm going to go to the left side and click draw and then I'm going to click the marker and then I'm going to click the color box because it's the wrong color. It's going to be red if I use it how it is. So I'm going to click the color box and then click the rainbow square with the plus sign in it and then click this eyedropper here so I can pick out the black that I want to use. So click anywhere on that t-shirt that you think will match the t-shirt, right? So it's black and then we can click the marker and make sure it's sticking out so it works. You can also use these settings here to make the weight of the paintbrush bigger. So a smaller paintbrush, that's a medium size. And then I'm just going to easily color that out. It's not perfect, but that's where my logo is going to go. So you can kind of see the blur around it. Okay. If you want to airbrush hair out, you can also do that with the paintbrush. And I try to do like a flowy move so it doesn't look cut off. That looks kind of crappy actually. So I'm just going to command and Z undo. You can also like, oops, I colored her neck. You can click this arrow on the top of the menu that's pointing left if you make a mistake. So that's pretty handy. So you're also going to want to add your mock-up image here. So I've already uploaded my logo that I want on the t-shirt. So I'm going to scroll through my uploads and where did it go? Oh, wine is my favorite workout. That's the one I'm going to use. So you need a transparent PNG file and you have to have the professional Canva account to actually have a transparent background. So you can do that if you don't have a transparent background. I do have a link in the description below if you want a professional Canva account. And you can click edit photo and then click background remover if there's a background on your logo that you want on the shirt. Mine is already uh, transparent so I don't have to worry about it. So she's kind of turned sideways. So to make it move around you can click this little icon here to make it so it's not completely straight so it looks a little more organic on the shirt and I think that looks pretty good. If your t-shirt has a lot of wrinkles in it, it might not look as great but you can easily resize pulling the corner circles around the square. So that's all that I've got for you in this video. I wanted it to be really quick and easy. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel in the comments and tell me what kind of stuff that you'd like to see. Oh, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and leave me any questions that you have. And I'll see you in the next video.